okay okay and uh, thanks for joining our live broadcast today i will to introduce about our uh, qnap virtualization station 3.5 update update function is a live mic li uh, vn live mi migration let me go to the slide okay we 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 will introduce about uh, virtualization station 3.5 and uh, today we'll update the function is a real life migration so it's it's a, it make sure your smooth smooth service and application performance so what is a what is a real life migration and what's benefit for user or for it or for company operation so let us see the slide okay the uh, basically the uh, IT uh, use uh, virtual, uh, virtual machine service can have uh, some issue something like a uh, virtual machine service is too slow the service is unstable the service has uh, some security issue or virtual machine service uh, automatically uh, stop running so so in in this situation IT will uh, always to maintain uh, the virtual, virtual machine and the NAS. So the first, well, firstly you need to uh, shut down the service. So you need to uh, and then go the upgrade runway or upgrade highway device or switch to other highway device or highway device to reboot. And uh, the IT need to find the issue root cause and uh, test the service. So the first is shut down. The next you need to, need to uh, test it online and uh, shut down again and online and we would like to the uh, uh, VN service smooth running and uh, we would like to the uh, uh, maintenance the VN virtual machine so what should I supposed to do so here is a solution the VN life migration make the IT maintenance more faster now you can see that the NAS A the VN service is running and uh, we uh, the IT want to do the NAS A to reboot so the VN service the VN is my life migration to NAS B in the same time the VN services keep running and then when the VN service uh, micro life migration ready so we, we do the NAS A to uh, shut down or reboot or some maintenance let to see the VLI migration life migration demo okay and the first thing we need to uh, check the control panel the, the SSH need to select here and the SSH here need to the, allow the SSH connection to select it, apply and uh, the migration NAS is also the check the control panel SSH it select okay now I will migrate uh, this virtual machine to IP A one A six NAS here. So first, I go to the the virtual machine the service, and uh, I need I use the remote remote connect. Connect the VN service the VN. Okay, I check the IP. IP is one eight. Nine, okay. One eight nine, commit. Okay. So, the one eight nine is the virtual machine now, and uh, I run the video.
Okay. The video is keep running, and uh, and now I live migration this mission machine. Migrate to one a six. Okay. One a six. Test. Okay. Okay. The next move all disk image in the same location. Yes. And uh, this this is a destination location. I said the folder is public. Okay. Next. I confirm the information and then I press migrate. Okay. Now I from I migrate the virtual machine from one five six NAS to one eight six NAS. In the same time, you can see this this area have showed the virtual machine migrate process thirty percent, and uh, this is also show this uh, situation. And uh, my Virtual machines service is a video keep running. You can see that keep running. Okay. And uh, in this situation, we maybe need to wait the three three minutes, maybe. So we go back the slide. Okay. The real line migration architecture. Now you can see that the firstly. The migrate the snapshot and the image to NAS B from from NAS B to NAS B, and then migrate the AT image to NAS B, and the final is migrate the v, total VN to NAS B. And when NAS can do migrate in and migrate out, in this UI, in this photo you can see that you can press the uh, VN virtual machine control icon. You can see that the visual VM migrate, you can migrate out to another NAS. And then, uh, you, now you can see the migrate icon. You can press it and then you can use the VM migrate in, in the, the same NAS. In a simple UI operation, you just uh, three steps. The one is select the IP address, the second is set the same folder. The final is the, the select the destination folder. Just three steps for completing VM live migration. The VM live migration advantage and benefit is uh, advantage is a virtual machine live migration ensure the smooth service, and the benefit is IT want to maintain maintain the uh, NAS, the VM can. Uh, Normally running the service, it cannot impair your operation, it cannot impair your service, it cannot impair your factory factory running. You can use the line migration to another NAS and do some maintenance. This is the great, the biggest benefit. And then you don't need the same NAS model, the same, the same NAS, the same number of hard drive and the same slot. You just only need uh, the same CPU platform. Uh, for example, it's Intel migrate to Intel platform and AMD migrate to AMD platform. And some remind item. Um, the first is uh, if the VM use a pass pass through function, you cannot to use a live migration uh, because the, the new NAS cannot find the device ID. Let's go back the demo. The it's it's nineteen percent. Okay, now you can see that it's ninety percent migrate and uh, okay. The video keep running.
Okay, wait a minute. Ninety-eight percent migration. Ninety-nine percent. Okay. Okay. Now you can see that the video keeps running, and my live migration is complete. And uh, we can check the one five uh, one eight six NAS. Yes, the VN is uh, finished the live migration, and. Uh, and then my video keep running, okay. And then, the, and then, if I do some maintenance, finish, and I want to migrate in my NAS, you can press here. Okay. Type the IP address. See that one a six, one a six. Okay. Okay. Next, and uh, we can see the VN list. Press this VN. Next. Next, and uh, choose the folder. Okay. Next, migrate. Now, the migrate VN to one five six NAS, and uh, my video keep running. Okay. Now let let's go back the slide. Okay. The first is when you use a, a pass uh, function, you cannot to use the live migration. The second is a VLI live migration function. It's a pro model only support the same platform, or like the Intel platform NAS, VM migrate to um, Intel platform NAS, the MD platform NAS migrate to MD platform NAS. It just support a, uh, Intel and the MD platform. The third is uh, v Virtual Manager Station 3.5 is only compatible with QTS 5, 4.5.1 4.5.1 or later version. The VNs is pro from Virtual Manager Station 3.5 are only compatible with Virtual Manager Station 3.5 or later version. And the SSH is a security share service is required to migrate VN so you can Make sure that you need to make sure that the SSH is enabled. And the final is the port 16500 to 16550 are required for are required for VM migration. So uh, you need to make sure that these ports are not blocked to avoid migration fa failure. Okay, this is today's. Virtualization station 3.5 update function is via live migration. If you like this function and if you need this function to help you um, uh, help you do some maintenance and uh, help you do some uh, re uh, system reboot and help you to the same time if your service is smooth, you can download it and enjoy this function. Thank you. Bye bye.